I think it's also a very good way to, to teach them uh, in a funny way, but in a very effective way, how to learn faster and better. And of course, even after the war, of course, I wanted to also help to Ukraine to keep its freedom and for Europe and the free world too. Uh, I try to incorporate the modern technologies like I've also learned from the students even here in my private life and teaching like Chachi. So I wish for Ukrainians to have more like that, more cry uh, tears of happiness instead of tears of sad. I think game-based uh, learning, I think it's, it motivates the intrinsic uh, yeah, motivation of students, stimulates it, makes it more fun to learn. And if people are want to learn, they will learn faster. Uh, very well, I, I started using them also, to be honest, here in Ukraine to break the ice, as they say, to make them feel more comfortable. Um, and they, they mostly really like it. When I start saying that we're gonna play some games, they're like, ah, I can see them relax. And I think it's also a very good way to, to teach them uh, in a funny way, but in a very effective way, how to learn faster and better. They remember it better. Uh, well, I started first, I started teaching abroad in Kharkiv already and I was already teaching sometimes in Netherlands more as a substitute and I wanted to take it, what they say in English, to the next level. So I needed, to, I wanted to challenge myself and after challenging myself in Kharkiv and here in, in uh, Franek, ivano frankivsk um, yeah, I, I really can say that I've become a better teacher, but also a better person. And that's very important for me to, to update Rick from 1.0 to 1.1. Oh yeah, and actually in Ukraine, uh, yeah, that was the course of action by coming here during Corona, that Ukraine gave me my freedom, because Europe was kind of a closed society during Corona times, and this is freedom. And of course, even after the war, of course, I wanted to also help to Ukraine to keep its freedom and for Europe and the free world too. Uh, I try to incorporate the modern technologies like I've also learned from the students even here in my private life and teaching like ChatGPT. ChatGPT is very useful to find psychological help, to find best teaching methods, best memor uh, memorizing uh, methods. So you can ask that, not to cheat, but to help you gain information faster. Um, I'm a little bit skeptical sometimes about all the computers and all the devices we use, because I feel they're sometimes not totally effective. Because we as teachers or professors, we need to be taught on how to use them, and we need extra time in preparing lessons by digital. So it's an aid, it's like a tool, but we need to learn how to use these tools. And then I believe we can do more personalized education, not for a whole class. Well, I met these really kind people from Prostir and from Brass Hospital and many other people who are working to help the veterans. And even though my heart also and respect goes out to the soldiers too, who are fighting and for our freedom, I do feel that the veterans, they are undervalued, then they need more respect and also more help. And to help the veterans, it's more easier for me because my sister works in healthcare and in the Netherlands we have a lot of health products which I can easily bring here. So I try to help in any way I can by bringing materials but also yeah, talking with some veterans and giving them a, a foreign perspective of positivity that Europe has not lost faith and hope and not support yet. Yeah, the most surprising, I think, it's, it's every time when I finish the teaching, uh, the classes, then I go to the, to the deacon office or the teacher's room, and they're always so curious how it was. 
So, and I can even see that in their eyes of the teachers. So, and I really prof uh, appreciate that because it makes me feel that they really are committed in teaching well to the students. It's different than in other positions I had. So for me, teaching, everyone remembers the good teachers with good passion, with a great passion. Those are the best, not maybe the most knowledgeable or the most best in English. It's the ones who want to teach. They are the good, best. I've been telling them all the time how good and how such a lovely country this is, no really, and how creative people are and strong fighters. Uh, but also I am Dutch and I'm a direct and honest guy, uh, so I will also tell them how I feel also sorry that people are losing a bit of hope here. My friends, male friends, are trying to hide from Tzedeka. And these are all processes which I understand totally for this country. But it does hurt me a little bit. Um, but like I said, I am a positive guy and I also really believe that with some good news later, Ukrainians will get the spirits up again. And yeah, so I will tell them mostly good things. Ah, yeah, I think Ukrainians like Everyone can help. I see it all around me that people here in Danilo with the congresses, um, but also people on the street, they're trying to, to gather money. Um, you can help a lot. Like I also help. I don't have unlimited money and unlimited time. But for me, for example, my way here, when I see a veteran with a child and, uh, and a wife, I try to go to this veteran and I say, thank you, Tuzi Jaku. For, yeah, for the victory and the help to Ukraine and Europe. So there's, you can do a lot, I always say. You don't need big gestures. You can do with some kind words. You can make a soldier cry. I've had that. And it's cries of, of gratitude, of, of appreciation, of happiness. So I wish for Ukrainians to have more like that, more cry, uh, tears of happiness instead of tears of sad. I wish them all the best, of course. No, but mostly what I tell them to, I really wish that the things I teach them about learning faster, wanting to learn, enjoy learning, these things, these three things, I really wish they would take it to their heart and to their mind and also in their hands that they start typing in chat G, not to cheat, but to learn faster. Yes, for sure. I think this one I have here is still from Maidan. I put it on directly after the war when my friends started calling me what to do. And I haven't taken it off since. And I will only take it off when the war has finished. And I must honestly say I had doubts of changing my role. Maybe not coming here, more staying in Netherlands or other. But yeah, this gratitude and appreciation of students, but also all people around, that they're happy to see me, that I give them a smile and hope that's for me the fuel to come back. Yes.